the slow road to freedom Seems I've lost my way Give me signs, Lord, I need them In the dark of the day Joyce was involved in becoming a professional musician, but being interested in music and wanting to make music was just something that I found I, that's how I was. I'm not checking out. I'm biding my time. My dad was a singer in my very early life. Um, I think he encouraged me to be interested in music, and I, I picked it up. I wrote my first song when I was 14, in the back of the physics class, I remember, um, and then started uh, busking in London. Subsequently, I got into various cover bands, um, into an indie band, um, quite a political band called Keep the Faith, and um, then uh, one of the things I was in for quite a long time was a tribute band to Free in Bad Company. So by then, um, I was doing it wrong. <laughs> played guitar for Steve on stage. He'd never actually heard me play guitar before. He took my word for it that I was capable of doing it. I think I had played bass for him by then, but I'm not playing guitar. I've known Steve for actually four years. It's curious, because I depped in one of his new young bands, and I really didn't hear from him again for about three and a half years. The reasons for that, I've got no idea. But I think partly because I was playing in another Neil Young band and he saw us as competition. Well, I got interested in, um, in Neil Young. Ultimately, I think it was because I, I, I heard something in his voice which was, um, it was like a, a, a blend of sweetness and rawness and suffering. And he used to, to do these, um, you know, really uh, strange guitar solos, that but they expressed passion, and that I suppose that's the connection. Um, it's between the kind of Welsh emphasis on passion, true feeling, and what I was hearing in here. <laughs> I, well, I mostly don't play covers now. Over the last maybe, I don't know, five years or so, as much as possible, I just um, perform my own songs. The album's uh, due for release on the 24th of March, which is Backstreets of Eden. I'm playing at the, uh, the Portland Arms uh, on the 13th of April to um, promote the new album. I don't think you can pigeonhole what he does because Steve is Steve and I think that's his strength and he's a very sensitive, expressive guy and that's what his music is. It's, it's slightly folky, slightly rocky, it's all those things you know, melded together. Daddy's gone away with that morning, packed a bag and run out in the night. Mummy sees the note while she's yawning, propped against the pillow's empty wine. 
What it is about is my parents getting divorced. My father died when he was quite young. You can probably imagine that there are various strains associated with it too for a young child. He gave me a set of plastic instruments when I was five. And then um, eventually I learned that he, um, that my mother had first met him when he was singing. Um, I learned that he thought that music was a good thing. With your heart so near, overload. I write a lot about Wales um, and what it means to me, you know, places that you yearn to be in. It's difficult to summarise, you know, what I've learned, but I tend to think that the whole ground of my being was um, settled then. The, the, the man figure in that reminds me of my guardian, who was um, a steel worker in Ponte Vista Steelworks in, in the valleys. And the barbed wire that he's holding is a sort of crown of thorns. Um, we've got a, a PA system and a wedge, you know, hidden away. Um, it would be very nice to have that set up all the time, but it's not possible on the table here. Um, I'm restringing a guitar, although, you know, that doesn't stay there all the time because uh, we need to eat. And um, in this area where we're standing, uh, I normally take the table out and we have when we're doing acoustic stuff, acoustic rehearsals in here. Um, but for full band rehearsal, the drums, electric guitars and everything, we go out to the place that you've seen before, you know, the uh, uh, super duper barn studio. In the, um, in the living room, uh, I keep this, um, or a guitar, it doesn't necessarily have to be that one, that's uh, an electric guitar not plugged into an amp, uh, around um, just so that I can noodle and practice wherever I, whenever I want and also if I get ideas for songs I can do them. One of the things I've discovered is that um, if I want to do something late at night and the house needs to be quiet for, for Judy um, then an electric guitar unplugged makes less noise than an acoustic guitar um, so you know, it can be quite useful to work that way. So that's what it sounds like I'm blind. <laughs>
Andy Cross on guitar, ladies and gentlemen.